Good day to all my viewers out there watching, this is the MTB Adventurer again, and in this video, I'm gonna show to you some of the basic parts of a mountain bike. So this is my mountain bike, it's a hardtail mountain bike, it's brand name is Voyager as you can see. So let's start here in the front, so this is the cockpit, it consists of brake levers, grips, handlebars and stem, so this is the brake lever. Right here, this is the stem that connects with the handlebar. Down here is the spacers, connects with the fork and the stem. Right here is the shifter, 9-speed shifter, change of gear. So let's go down here. As you can see, it's a fork. It's an air fork, suspension fork. Its brand name is Fox 32, Fox Factory 32. As you can see, it has a lock on it. So, this is my brake. It's a hydraulic brake, but some bikes are made for mechanical brakes. So, my, my bike is hydraulic brake. So, this is the rotor up, rotor right here. This is my wheel. Under my wheel is the rims spokes that connects with the hub there's the hub right there shimano brand that's the hub and this is the drivetrain as you can see it consists of cassette 9-speed cassette the chain the hanger and the derailleur right here is the crank set the white there is the pedals, while this is the crank. Up here is the seat post. This is the seat and this is the post. That's why they call it seat post. So that's our, those are the basic parts of a mountain bike. So I want to focus to you guys about the tribe train. So this is the cassette and the chain. As you can see the relationship between the two, as you change the gear, that's the lowest gear and you change again down here and that's the high gear. So down here is the derailleur, it helps you shift whatever gears you want from the lowest gear up to the high gear. So right here is the crank. But some cranks have triple, but mine is single. So let's try. As we go uphill, try to change the gear to the lowest gear. And if downhill, try to change to the highest gear. So those are the basic parts of a mountain bike. I hope you have learned something from this video. And I hope after watching this video, try to visit my channel and click the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so that you can follow me on my next MTB adventure videos. So guys, thank you for watching, especially to my viewers out there. Thank you so much.